Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? Today we're talking about conspiracy theories. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> 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 Uh, so, welcome to episode 5 of the Wild Sketchy Podcast, again, Woo! with me, Fuck Jamie... Do the boys, yes! <laughs> with me, Jamie Blair, and... Scott McClelland. Well, you always get really hyped at the start, you're like, we made it this far, we're getting some. Yeah, and then you see, and then you see halfway through, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All so the energy's like, yeah, gone, yeah, you just plateaued. Much. So anyways, if the title didn't give it away, this episode we're going to be talking about conspiracy theories. <laughs> but we can't just talk about them normally, right? Because, you know, the electric magnetic waves in the air, <laughs> the government's going to be reading our minds and yeah. trying to give us mind control. So we've got the kit, we've got the kit, right? So just give us a minute. So three, two, one. All right, we're all... all Tinfoil hat. <laughs> we're all kitted up. The government can't get to us anymore, man. We are free. I can just see it in the little camera. I look, I look, I look what's the one to one? Is it Lala? Yeah, from the... Lala. Is it, I, is it, or is it Dipsy? Dipsy. Which, the, I, think, I think it's Dipsy. That has, Lala's like, got the wee, like, swirl on the line. Yeah, like, he's Dip, got... Dipsy's just the straight line. <laughs> Anyways, how do, uh, how do you think we look? Do we look... Are we handsome young boys? You're just, you're just torn at the back. <laughs> Chop. They didn't know that. They can't see the back. <laughs> Like, do we do that again? Then? No, this just, just, just means that they might, the government might be able to sneak in my back doors. <laughs> I just couldn't help it though, so I just couldn't help. And like, look. Uh, Scott, will you stop staring at my crack, right? <laughs> okay, no, it's, that it's just at the, it's just a little crack in my back, right? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> back in hairy. Anyways, if you can't tell already, this is going to be a little drinking episode, so this yeah. might, this might get a little bit hairy, a little bit I've, all over the place, but. And here's a little special secret. So, uh, Jimmy messaged me before we, well, before he came out of the house, and he goes, "Oh, I'm stopping at the off license. Do you want anything?" And I said, "I just get a winter beer." And he goes, "Do I get heavily or heavily, heavily?" Heavily, yes. Heavily. Heavily. And he goes, uh, because, and I go, oh, that's great. I actually haven't tried that one yet. I have never tried he- uh, Heverly in my he- life. Heverly. Uh, that'd be H-E-A, wouldn't it? Hever? Yeah, it'd be H-E-A. Yeah. So, yeah, so today I'm going to be trying Heverly for the very first time. I, th- I would say it's better right the keg than it is. Oh, like yeah, every, every pint is best out on draft. It goes like, from, like if we're ranking them top to bottom, on draft at the top, like at the keg. And then bottle. Bottle. Can. Can. Yeah. And then rubber bottle at the bottom. What is a rubber... You said this in the say A rubber... You mean a plastic bottle? A plastic bottle, rubber bottle, same thing. Like It's a, called you, you a plastic I mean. bottle. Yeah. You, you, you get what I mean, though, because, like... And I remember the beer that I got in a, in a plastic bottle was Stella at the Telegraph Bill when I went to... You can get Stella yeah. in a plastic bottle. Yeah, and it's really bad. Oh. Anyways, so let's get a, a nice little... You, you first. You, no, you go little, first. Little, oh, little, oh, my tinfoil oh, hat's coming oh, off. Oh, mm. oh. One little slip and the government fucking has you. That is so true. I'm really right. scared. Uh, people at home, make sure your tinfoil hats are ready too, because you never know, they could be after you too. So. See if I can get my more crisp. Oh, shit, I just touched it. <laughs> Ooh. I, think you're, I think you're almost nicer. You're almost nicer. Like... Let's give a little cheers to the episode. Cheers. Cheers for tinfoil hats and conspiracies. Oh, that's a lovely wee one. Right, so oh, that really that tastes weird. That tastes like. Do you know what it tastes like to me? Beer. No, it tastes different because like it doesn't taste like Budweiser or Coors Light or anything or like Corona. It tastes different. It tastes like. Because I think it's a little, it's a little bit stronger. It tastes like it's like you know why like a lot like vodka is fermented with like potatoes sometimes. Yeah. This tastes like it's fermented with like grass. Do you know what I mean? It has like that like earthly Wait, taste. Do you mean do you mean like grass you grow on the ground or like not like four twenty blaze at grass? Like I'm talking about like I'm talking about like like mo- like you mow your grass like you lawn mower. Mm. Uh, it tastes yeah. a bit like that. It tastes good. I don't even know what to say to that. Just it tastes like grass. It's not that strong. It's four point eight. Uh, that's strong. That's stronger than strong, you. Stronger than most beers are. But anyway, so let's get down to the conspiracy theories. Do you want to kick us off? Because You've been wanting to talk about conspiracy theories and alien stuff since I've, the very first episode. I have really wanted to. So, 
First of all, we've got I've got an array of uh, conspiracy theories for you and for you guys at home, and we will be discussing them and going through them and making sure everything is a okay. So to get onto the topic of today's episode of conspiracy theories, hence yes, the get up, the good new. Th- these cost five thousand pound, you know. This cost me a lot of money to I get. Scott. There are a lot of stupid people out there. I don't think people are that stupid. Like, I just seen it on the reflection of my phone. It looks... Just look at it. It looks so dumb. Jesus. I've, right, well, I've got an array of um, conspiracies for you. So, you've been wanting to talk about these since like, the very beginning. Like, every episode oh, you've yeah. been harping on. You want to do conspiracy, conspiracy theories. You want to talk about aliens. You want to talk about just creepy shit. Take, yeah. me, take me away. What is the first conspiracy So, there's one today? about the very first episode of our podcast, believe it or not. That Mr. Owen McKenzie that, cre- that Owen McKenzie created. Our, our guest on episode three, Owen McKenzie, mm-hmm. check it out. Yeah, it's Love a good you. episode. I enjoyed it. Um, right, so Owen, in our in the very very first episode of the, the Wild Sketchy podcast, we were drinking out of mugs. Yeah. And you had your big beefy Pennywise mug. That Ma, I love that face. mug. That, that I love that mug. But it's but, such an iconic mug. But we've also like someone else also said this as well. Yeah. Uh, people thought like they thought that we like the mugs were empty the whole time. Yeah. That there was nothing in him. Someone in my tech course said that as well. They were like, you were not drinking out of that mug. And I was like, yes, it was. It was Pepsi Max. Yes. There was, in fact, Pepsi it Max was... in those mugs the whole time. Yeah. Conspiracy busted. d <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Uh, right, so okay. First, so, conspira- oh, first legitimate conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's just a little stupid thing. Um, so the next one I want to talk about is... Now, have you ever watched The Wizard of Oz? Indeed I have. And I'm guessing the people watching this, everyone's seen The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, if I, you I, haven't seen the full thing, you've seen a portion of it. You've, you've either seen uh, the, like the movie or like the play yeah. or the musical. I think I was, I was in the musical for it. Were you? No way. Who did you play as? Uh, I was in primary school. I was 11 and I was one of the flying monkeys. That, yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. was a sick fucking role as a monkey. <laughs> did you get there like, did they have like things attached to the roof where you like swinging? No, we just kind of like danced. That was it. Did you? No. Yeah. <laughs> I think we danced like the thriller. But we danced the thriller by Michael Jackson. That's really like the like the complete opposite of like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, that's like this doesn't fit it. <laughs> anyway, so what is the Wizard of Oz conspiracy happening? So the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz conspiracy is so after they find the Tin Man or the Scarecrow, either one. It's the Tin Man because they find the Scarecrow first and then the Tin Man. Oh, is that the order? Right. Yes, yeah, it's the Tin so, Man. So they find the Scarecrow and they're you know they're, I mean, they're the Tin Man. Oh, sorry, the Tin Man. <laughs> I, I the, just... the Tin Man. This is so fitting. <laughs> the Tin Man. No, anyway, so basically, they're running down the yellow brick road, you know, we're up to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, right? And they run down, and in the background, and, and in the background of like where the pathway is, in like, in the, in the like woods, there's like this little like actor that played a munchkin. And yeah, he's, and apparently so. And he's swinging back and forth and it basically they said he hung himself now I don't personally I do believe I think it could be true but I don't really think it could be you know what I mean I'm like, like, the, like it's like it was like the 30s that I was released so like stuff yeah. like that happens in like movie sets like not like people hang themselves more people your, your tinfoil hat's coming off I know I mean the... <laughs> you made it too pointy too high okay there we go I'll set like this you're definitely compensating for something like that <laughs> but but no like it, it was the 30s so like there was like, like dodgy yeah. stuff in Hollywood and everything and plus what, weren't you saying that that scene was filmed in a forest that wasn't a set I think was well it? I don't know personally but I think it was it looks mm. I don't could have been a set like, but I think mm. they spent a lot of money as you were telling me not too long ago maybe we were talking about this not too long ago and you said about Emerald City yeah, it was yeah, a big like, set there's, there's a, they have a lot of sets in that movie like, which yeah. would be expensive even to make nowadays let alone for yeah. the time so, yeah, I think I think it might have been they might have went to a real location for that one and just stuck up a few cardboard cutouts and stuff. And mm. but it it seems pretty legit. It's weird, but so, so would you just, so would you say it's true? Or do you believe it, or do you think it's? A I think it's. Thing? I'm about sixty forty, but sixty percent saying it could be true, forty percent mm. saying it couldn't be. Also, I want to do a rating thing on this. So, I have on the let's say so let's I, say just, ten. Let's give it a name, but let's the. Jamie and Scott's spooky wookie dookie scale, right? The spooky wookie dookie scale. The sk- spooky wookie dookie scale, right? <laughs> Jamie right. and Scott's 
it'll be BAM! <laughs> spooky wookie dookie scale. Anyway, so it's what do you rate it on the spooky dookie? I mean, how, what are the ranges? Like, how so it's 1 to 10 on what you think, and it's how spooky you think it is, and if you think it's real. So how spooky do you think it is? I think it's pretty spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty spooky. Alright, so I think it definitely is uh, indeed spooky. Yeah. Um, but I... No, I don't. I don't think it. I don't think it's real, man. Because even though it it could happen, like it's not. It's not like a oh, weird yeah. conspiracy. Oh, yeah. it's, possible. It's a very realistic conspiracy conspiracy yeah. theory. But like, I don't think that someone would have hung themselves on it because when you're making movies and stuff like that, the amount of people it goes through, yeah, and the amount of time it goes through, and like, and the fact they've never bothered bothered to remove it, like, how would we only notice this far later? Exactly. Like, that goes for, like, for like, years, and we only notice like within the past twenty we, odd years. Yeah. With the invention of the internet, I don't know. Plus, nowadays you can fake anything. That's true, yeah. We're living in, like, the modern day of, like, technology and, like, HD cameras where you can just, like, Photoshop and... You can zoom in, like, in 4K yeah, and you, you can see you, everything. You can add stuff in, like, CGI and everything. So, like, yeah. I don't know, I think... So, I, can, I, so, them two results together, what would that be out of 10? Well, like, we'll, I mean? we'll just do separate ones. Like, I think, although, on, like, the spooky scale, mm-hmm. about, like, a, like, an eight, like, having someone die on a set is it's very real and it's a yeah. very creepy feeling. But is it real? I don't think so. I think it is just a conspiracy. I think it could be real. So I'm I'm 60 40. 60% saying it could be. Mm-hmm. It's 40% uh, because it's a suicide. It's very, it's a common thing, sadly. Um, and on the spooky wiggy doogie scale, I give it a, I'd say probably the same. No, I'd say about seven because that doesn't seven. really scare me. Because it's like, because mm-hmm. literally I could do it. It's that easy. I think, I think that's the scary part, but it doesn't scare me because that type of way you know what I mean for a second it, I thought, I thought you meant it's weird to explain but I'm not really scared by it I'm not scared by death for a second yeah. I thought you meant committing suicide it's like oh I knew like, I could do that and everything I was like no no I'm saying that's how that, okay? that, no, 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 that's what scares me is that it's that easy I could do it do you know what I mean and yeah. I think that's what's scary about it that is why I'm giving it a 7 I think 8 it's not scary enough because I'm not scared of death do you know what I mean oh you're hard no, I'm not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I'm like, not scared of death, man. No, people are always scared if there's like an afterlife and stuff. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, like, not, sca- I'm not scared of death, man. I'm scared of deaf men. That's what, that's what you were trying to say. Death? <laughs> De- <laughs> deaf. Like deaf that. men. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Mm-mm. Oh, God. Right, so anyway, that's the first conspiracy theory. That is. What's the next one for us? So, continuing on the world of film and TV and the entertainment industry... Technically, we're technically a part of that. Yeah. Are we technically... And we're technically content creators. Yeah, I'm that. a content... I create music. I'm hate, a content... I hate the term of content creator. Sorry, guys. My hair's falling out of this. I'm just... You know, you know what? The government's trying to get in. They're trying, they're trying to squeeze its way into your brain, dude. Keep it on. Uh, so, yeah. On, on to the, the subject of like TV and stuff. It, this loops in really well. Um, so, The Lion King. Um, the original Lion King. Not the new one with Seth Rogen mm-hmm. in it. Which I think's actually... Really good. I think it's close to being better. I think it honestly is. I still, I still think the old one is better, but the new one's still good. No, there's so not. Seth totally Rogen's in it, and you can just tell he's begged and everything, single line. He said, he's like, oh, yeah, actually, you, you know the song where they go, a wimbo, a wimbo, a wimbo. Like, you mean, like, was it? In the jungle. Yeah. The lion sleeps in it. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, or, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, well, you can hear Seth Rogen laugh as he's doing it. He's like, oh, we move, oh, we move. And he starts, and you can just tell he's high. He's just so high. Well, he's just at the point where he's so successful. He just he just doesn't care anymore. He, oh, can, yeah. he can do where the fuck he wants. He's literally, a millionaire. Yeah, he's literally, I'd say, he's, he's, he's got at least more than eight digits in his bank. Like, but I'd say 100 million. Mm. Anyway, so The Lion King. Do I explain this? You know this one. So do you want to explain it? Uh, I'll, I'll explain this one. Uh, basically, for those who don't know, this is, uh, it's later on in the movie where Simba is on the top of like a cliff or on a cliff edge and he like falls down he like to go to sleep or like because he's exhausted yeah and when he falls he's on like dandelions or some form of long grass and pollen flies off and it like flows in the wind but for like a, like a couple frames for like three or four frames you can see the pollen and like spells out the words sex yeah and also i think three or four frames is pretty similar to like one or two seconds am i right or not even no half a second like there's uh, animation well it's usually like 30 frames a second mm-hmm. or like 25 or something like that so like, it'd be like a millisecond for like, for like 3 or 4 frames that's not a lot of time how long would you say like a th- 3 milliseconds like it's like a flick of switch flick yeah of switch. like it's something really quick so like it's not like an adult joke that's like hidden in like you're like because obviously there's adult jokes in kids movies all the time oh yeah like Spongebob and stuff yeah but like that one's so hidden to the fact yeah. like, mm. 
And plus, it's a Disney movie. Like, that, there's so much money goes into them. Yeah. And you're thinking, how do, like, this fucking secret joke get in? We're just said, it just said sex on the screen. But it's actually debunked. Do you want me to explain why it's debunked? Yeah, sadly, this is not the truth. Yeah, so basically, it's... So they have, obviously, a sound effects team or a special effects team. It's either... It's either... It says SFX with the dandelion of the pollen. And basically, it's just a big shout-out to their SFX team, which is sound and probably special effects as well. So that is debunked. So although it looks like sex, there's actually no bit at the bottom, so it's just SFX. So yeah. it was just the way the animators we could make a little nod to the team. Pretty much, it. yeah. Like, well done, guys. You did a great job, but it just looks like sex. Like, let's all have sex. <laughs> let's have sex with the SFX team. Uh, so, yeah. yeah so that is debunked. the second one the bit we do it, we're starting off very light very simple yeah very short ones and then i'll go deep and i mean i say like we did we literally talk about someone hanging themselves yeah but, but it's like small you get what I mean. you yeah get what yeah, I mean. yeah it's very it's very simple and it's not very complicated so i'm not wearing this hat anymore are you not wearing it anymore no. i might keep no yeah Fuck okay this. yeah i look stupid i look dumb i'm keeping the hat but like i'm not wearing that for rest man it's really it's kind of warm in here as well and so i feel like my yeah. brain's gonna sweat let me just double check to see if my <laughs> my hair looks okay because that flattened it and look guys watching this the people watching this my hairline isn't that great and i don't want to look like i'm that. scott and i'm a pretty girl i'm a pretty girl see so, you know it doesn't work like that man it just you gotta look you gotta look good for the cam you know what i mean uh so the next conspiracy theory we have come up for you it's kind of a biggie it's, and it, it's kind of it's gained momentum in the past has, couple yeah. of years and whilst it is a con it's a theory many people believe it as fact yeah. As I'm pretty sure you have the same opinion as I. <laughs> stupid. Fucking stupid. It's so stupid, man. I do not believe any word that comes out of these people's mouth. Do you want me to say what it is? Do you want me to say what it is? I'll let you take it. Are you sure? I'll, I'll let you start off. I'll let you start okay, off. Okay, okay, okay. So this has been global. Like, this has been a global thing that people... There's people all around the world that believe this. If any of you guys... You'll find out what it is. And if any people that are watching this believe in this, you need to get checked. You're not right. You just aren't right. It just... It can't be right because... I'll explain what it is. So, it's been on this morning. It's been, I think it's been Pierce Morgan's Good Morning Britain. It's been yeah. everything. It's flat earthers. Flat earthers. Wise theory. up. You're not right. It just, it, you're not right. You just aren't. Like, they're not right. So, basically, yeah, take the wheel. For those who don't know what flat earth theory is, it's pretty self explanatory. It's in the name. It's people who don't believe that the earth is round, they believe it's flat. They like, they believe that NASA and the military and the government all work together and conspiring. It's so stupid. They're lying in that the fact that the Earth is round. It's so dumb, I swear. Which I don't get. <laughs> like the reason conspiracy theories are a thing is when some there something bad happens. Yeah. And a company is trying to like hide it or mm -hmm. tuck it away somewhere, sort of like you know like Air Fifty One and stuff like that. But for what financial or like fulfilling purpose does the government have for hiding the fucking shape of the planet and for anything to have a conspiracy theory about why have a conspiracy theory about the things that have literally have been photographic evidence yeah like people have been to space and the moon and taken a photo of the earth and went there it's fucking it's round man it literally it's is round. it's just round it just is right it's not flat it can't be flat because like like, but did, did you not say to me one time that they believe that basically, like, it curves so the water can sit in it? No, they believe it's like, they believe, well, there's multiple theories. They don't even have a consistent theory throughout the entire That's thing. That's not right. Yeah, like, they don't even have, like, all they know, all they agree on that, that it's flat. They think the North Pole's in the middle, and then, like, the South Pole's, like, an Arctic barrier right round. Oh, it's just... And, like, they think it, well, most for most of it, it's like, so the Earth is flat, and then has, like, a big dip at the bottom where the water is. So that's why there's some water. Oh, it's just coked. They're just coked. They don't believe fried. they believe that gravity exists, but it's not an effect it's not a cause, it's like an it's an effect. And do you, do you all know how they think gravity is real? Because uh, you know where gravity works and you have a big object with a lot of mass mm -hmm. things like it has its own centre of gravity. Yeah. They believe that instead of Earth having gravity, it just like the entire flat earth just moves up. Yeah. At a rate of nine point eight meters per second squared, I think it is. But like, so they don't believe. They think gravity is just we're just slowly moving up. So we're just going up and up and up and up and up. Yeah. That is the man. We go like that, not like that. If we were going like that, we would eventually run out of. We would not eventually run out of like oxygen. Stuff. I don't. Know. What? How do we run out of oxygen? Oh, right enough. I forgot. We have an atmosphere, don't we? We so have it's... an atmosphere. <laughs> 
Are they not crazy, mm. Scott? They believe in an atmosphere. They're no, I, I, but then I don't get that, though, because... The... Like, they don't think... You know like, you know the way we can see uh, something go over the horizon? Like, a boat go over the horizon? Yeah, they, they think uh, because... they think We go up like, like a lift. They, they say, oh, the human eye can't see as far as 10 miles. But it's like, yeah, that's because the Earth curves. That's why a ship goes over the horizon. They just don't believe it. If you go on a aeroplane... And you're you're thirty five. You're like thirty to thirty five thousand feet in the air. You can see the curvature. Yeah, you can. You can see a slight curve, which basically shows that the Earth is wrong. I'm getting so frustrated. I'm actually I'm getting uh, frustrated. But here, here's the kicker. You know the way they don't believe that the Earth is round. Yeah. They think Mars is round. Mars That's is so... Ma- Mars is round, and like people said, why is it all oh, because there's photographic evidence? How your head frying is that? They think Mars is round. Don't no, Mars is round. Mars is fine. The Earth's flat. Because there's photographic evidence. But there's been photographic evidence of Earth. So, I... D- I d- yeah, it's, it's fucking annoying, isn't it? Fried. They're fried. They're just fried. Like, they I'm pretty sure you'll go on about this for hours. But... <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's... Debunked. I, we've debunked it. It's it was, just not true. It's not even a theory to begin with. Like, you can... Like, when you look at videos where it's like flat earthers versus normal people. Or like... Like, where you have... When you look at like NASA scientists versus flat earthers. So it's all like... They are like physicists and have like degrees and they've been studying yeah. their whole lives all the flat earthers are like i work at a truck stop or it's like I i'm work, right it's like i work at this bar i go i googled it for like three months and now i know i know better than everyone uh, it's, it's like just man you just googled shit it's like there's research out there there's youtube videos it's like man you've just googled it do you, do you know what i heard one time as well i think what flat earthers also believe is they believe it's like under a dome as well but the dome, you can go through the dome, but that's why it looks the way it is from up there, because it's that dome, which makes it circular. But, no. No, no. That's you know not true. Right, Scientists so would say it's flat if it was flat, because they go off based off fact. Yeah, there's... there's they like, would say it's flat. There's no... They wouldn't... Reason, they there's no reason for it. There's no gain. Yeah. That means we've been lied to with NASA, and we've been lied, and it's like, that's trying to, like, progress the human well, species. Do you want to know how flat earthers think the dinosaurs got wiped out? So I don't even know if you, I'm, oh, you know the way they have a flat earth right so they think instead of like the asteroid hitting the earth that wiped out the dinosaurs and just wiping them out it the asteroid hit the earth and it spun like a like a plate and all the dinosaurs just flung off I'm not fucking kidding you're, you're joking I'm not you're, kidding you're, 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 I, I'm not kidding man that's how some flat earthers genuinely believe the dinosaurs got wiped out an asteroid hit it and it just spun around a plate like how is that possible but because the earth is flat remember but no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> exactly. It's so fucked. Right, How stupid that's, is that see that story. That story's debunked it because it's not it's, true. There's no way that <laughs> that's not happen. possible. Because it, if it lands, it would crash and yeah. it would just stay there. It wouldn't make the whole world. Is that what you're saying? No, like, like spin around like a dinner plate and it would fly off. That means like grass would have went and everything. It basically means <laughs> everything. Like, all the dirt would have fell. All the water would have fell out. And that's why they're stupid. All the water would have came out. See? It just doesn't matter. D. <laughs> uh, it's like, but some people do it like you know why we've been to space and everything, the moon, and we've taken photos of the Earth to prove that it's round. Yeah. Some people don't even believe we've gone to the moon. Now this is this is more of an accepted one where people think America like America faked the moon landing back in the sixties. That's yeah. not true. Because I don't. I think we've been to the moon. I do think. Like, like basically. Like, well, it was it was the age of the space race back in the fifties and sixties with Russia versus America. Yeah. Russia got the space first, mm-hmm. and now ever like America then got to the moon first. So Russia was first in space, but it was like uh, it was Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong that landed on the moon first. But people think that the moon landing was faked just so, and they told everyone just that America could get like get one over on Russia. But it's... we did go to space because there's so there's so much photographic evidence and video evidence that is still readily available today. Like you can look up any of this on NASA. Like mm-hmm. I don't know if, if it's, it's I think I man like that's what I was saying. But NASA can't lie because they literally do go off fact mm-hmm. and they do test everything out themselves. And they do yeah. Like why would you put all this money into a big company just to hide everything and say oh the Earth's round and oh the Moon's not actually real it's just a hologram and oh, stuff like that Mar- Mars is round man fucking I, Mars is fine that's fine yeah it's, fuck, it's wise up I don't know I, I, we've definitely been to the Moon and everything like, oh, and they ask, oh, we haven't like, <laughs> like Neil Armstrong has and stuff I don't know about you man well I've seen a few Moons in my lifetime I've seen your Moon that's true <laughs> not on purpose by the way <laughs> wait so wait what's it hmm 
And it was wasn't on purpose. No. I, I'm going to have a word with you afterwards. <laughs> we're, 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 we're having words. We're having words. You're looking at cameras on some. <laughs> Anyways, people, like, I think we, we've definitely been to the moon and everything, but, like, the, yeah. people always ask, oh, why haven't we gone back then? If we've been to the moon, why don't we go now? It's like, for one, there's, there's no reason. Like, it's, yeah, there isn't any reason. It's a big rock. Yeah. And for two, anything that a human could go and do, just they just send rovers and shit. Rovers? Yeah, rovers. Like, they, you know, like the Mars rover and stuff like that. Like, they send, like, little robots and shit. I thought you meant the car. Like, a rover. Have you ever had a rover? Have you ever seen a rover? No. They're very hard to get. No, they're, like, they're, very, they're like gold dust. I mean, but rovers oh, are, like, a, like the old... Like, we used to have a rover. Sure, uh, was it Elon Musk put a car into space? No way. I don't know if it was a meme or not, actually. I'm going to look it up, because I'm pretty yeah, sure... Because yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure... Because Elon Musk is, like, the big space guy at the minute. Like, he's trying to make... You know he's just a big pothead? Yeah. He literally is just a big pothead, but he's, he's so good at what I, he does. I really want the Cybertruck. What? I really want the Tesla Cybertruck. Is that the... Th- is it called Cybertruck? There's a car... I It looks like a Batmobile. Are you, talk, are you talking about something different? Do you know what I didn't realise? Oh, for that the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks cool like a Batmobile. Yeah. Do you know what I didn't realise? But about... Nick, um, what's his name? I nearly said Nikola Tesla, which would have made sense. But Elon Musk, I didn't know he invented Tesla. Was it? I didn't yeah. know he made Tesla. Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster. <laughs> Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster is an electric sports car that served as the dummy payload for the February 2018 Falcon Heavy test flight and became an artificial satellite of the sun. Starman is a mannequin dressed in a spacesuit, occupies the driver's seat. So to test a rocket... Elon Musk put a car on it with a dummy, to get a dummy spaceman and put it in space. So there's just a there's just a dummy spaceman in, in, a, a, in a car just sitting floating around there, because it, it acts as a satellite now. Uh, so it's just floating about. So we've covered the fire theory, fucking stupid. We've covered we the first episode conspiracy. We haven't we haven't been to the moon. We've covered that. We have been to the moon. Get over it. Not everything's a lie. Some things are just that simple. We're gonna cover. Probably one of the biggest conspiracy theories yes. just ever in Area 51. Now, there's a multitude of stuff that goes on in Area 51. Now, yeah. What are your thoughts on Area 51 in general? <laughs> right. Because well, I think there's too many conspiracies to get in-depth with, so we'll just kind of talk about Area 51 in general. <coughs> Pardon me. Ooh. <laughs> no, right, so my, my, my personal opinion on Area 51 is I think they've had contact with another species mm-hmm. living species now living species could be anything mm. so you could go to a different planet and you could see a little bit of grass that's technically a living thing so I'm not saying that aliens with the green skin or grey skin and the big gl- googly, good, eyes. googly eyes that it's like it's for sure aliens I do think they probably have had contact with aliens. I really do. I think, why would you mention that Area 51's there mm-hmm. if you aren't going to... Like, again, science is based on fact and everything they do, and this is all... But the one thing that gets me is it's always linked to, like, the presidential like regions the, like, and stuff. Yeah, like the and, Pentagon and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's just, I think, why would they let them know everything but not let everyone else know everything? Mm. Because they obviously do that for four years, then they can either go again and if people like them they do it for eight years you know what I mean mm. the president so like eventually they will stop doing that so they just know that and they're just a regular human after that they're not a president anymore wait what do you mean so basically so you know the way like Area 51 and stuff like the president would know about it mm-hmm. right so like Donald Trump knows about what goes on in Area 51 I mean but he's not president anymore so he's just a regular person so why can't we not find out but I mean well for one when a president stops being a president they can still be a politician they can still be part of that political party new stuff oh definitely but and, what I'm trying to say is and you don't, he's not a president anymore so he shouldn't know and you don't really know. have to tell them you don't have to tell them shit yeah but I think they do because he's got that they've got that much power I mean everything you have to do as a elected official has to be approved you can't just do shit willy nilly it's not like a dictatorship oh so yeah, that's, yeah. that's why that's why Donald Trump just couldn't build a wall he needs like votes and everything. He needs funding and do stuff like that. So like, and plus, would you would you, would you give Donald Trump like access to Area Fifty One and the nukes and all the codes and shit? I fucking wouldn't. No, isn't there not a nuke button in the White House? I think it's just a movie magic, man. Man, there's a nuke button in the White. We'll get. We'll obviously put the information up. But... Man, cons- I can spit one. A, a nuke button. There's a nuke button in the White House. Why would there be a nuke button? 
in case they go to war. So you think just a nuke is what you should do? Have you never heard that? No, like, that's... I, if it is... The true. nuclear football, also known as the atomic football, the president's emergency satchel, the president's, the presidential emergency satchel, the button, the black box, or just the football, is a briefcase that can... The contents which are... <laughs> Are to be used by the president of the United States to authorize. Yeah, so yeah, they're the, yeah, they have it in a briefcase. Yeah. To authorize the. Yeah, but with permission, they can do it. So ah, but he, he wouldn't so do. There's a, so there's a button there, yeah. or yeah, something yeah. like that. There's something. But it's, it's not like Donald. It's not like a signal. But it's not like Donald Trump. You just, could just be like, you fuck China," and just <laughs> and just fuck him up. <laughs> no, it's more like China. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. It's not like in the Simpsons movie when Itchy or something gets a button. Goes, and all the nooks hit. It's not like that. It's like a little signal, probably, and then they get the nooks already. And but it's like there is something to do with that. There's a, yeah. So there is something in the White House Man, that contributes to that. That made the last four years more now for America more scary than I thought. Now I know that's what I was scared about like, the entire time. It was going to nook everything. With his tiny little hands. <laughs> do, do you think he's going to put instead of like I'm going to nook in, all of New York? Do you think he's going to push in the button? Yes, he uses like a whole his whole hand like <laughs> we triceratops. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, so, but do you, like the one thing I'll say like uh, about Area Fifty One is like well, I know like I I was Area Fifty One's a real thing and that's where oh, all yeah. like extraterrestrial and all like military shit goes. But if I was running a country and I had a department which all my secret shit was, all my like high tech weapons and alien stuff, for one I wouldn't make it public knowledge. Yeah. Like you know, like if I if I have all this stuff. And like hidden away, like stuff like the Area Fifty One raid could happen, where like a million people just show up. I remember people were like making set. jokes about that and stuff, yeah, and people, we were everyone was so scared about it. Man, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, people showed up and they just kind of they done like the Naruto run and everything just around the place. <laughs> but no, like I think like if you if you like, I guess to say you have some like dodgy stuff in your house, yeah, you wouldn't like if you had like locked in a room and people want to go into that room in your house, would be like, oh no, I don't go in there, man. It's got dodgy shit in there. You, uh, you want to know what's in there. That's true. Yeah, I do really want to know what's in there. Like, really everyone do. does, but then again, that's why I think there's nothing in Area 51. And this, like, this is my, like, crazy conspiracy theory tinfoil hat moment. But, like, whenever... Oh, God. When, if, like, if you have crazy alien and military stuff, why would you make it very publicly? Oh, this is where it is. This is where it is, man. This is where all the crazy stuff goes. So ASMR. That's so terrible. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> but, but exactly. you, you get what I mean, though. Like, yeah, man, it's just I think there's something in there. I think they yeah. are. Right I now. think there's definitely dodgy shit. I just don't think it's, I don't don't think it's Area Fifty One. I think it's somewhere else, man. Like somewhere. So, yeah, it's, it's an alibi. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think it's an alibi, man. Because like you wouldn't make it that obvious. It's the same thing as saying like, let's say, like I say, you're hiding someone from someone. I've never done this, but like if you're like, hiding, if, if you're hiding an alien, like a real alien. Yeah, you'd be like. No, I did see them, but I don't know where. You would kind of like tell a white lie. It's I think it's a white lie. I think yeah. there could be stuff still there, but I think there's more stuff somewhere. Else. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah. Then, so do you think that there is all like the uh, testing of aliens and stuff like that? On the oogie woogie boogie, <laughs> oogie woogie dookie. Do you, what is it? Spooky woogie dookie. Spooky woogie. You forgot the name of your own scale. I forgot. For this. Spooky woogie dookie. Right. Okay. I mean, we haven't really done it for the other ones, so. Well, we'll do it for this one. Because this one, the moon landing and that fits in. And flat earth. They're all a do with space. Is it, well, we know we've given our opinions on the other one. We don't think they're flat real. Earth, yeah, flat earth and For the moon landing, I think the moon landing is real. Area 51, yeah. what are you saying? I think do Area you... 51 contains some alien content. Hmm. <laughs> and I think that there's something there. And I do think that they have something, but I don't think they have aliens in it. I yeah. don't think I don't think I do think aliens have came to earth and yeah. I do believe that I but th- I don't think I'm with you in the sense of like there's definitely the, like they definitely have like some aliens some creepy shit there's information and stuff yeah but I, I don't think it's how like movies and all make out to be where it's yeah. like you know like the aliens are like the green screen big eyes as you were saying I think it's like just other shit mm-hmm. so again when you see those alien videos again like I said it before we're in the day, like, day and age of technology yeah where you can make up anything like they make movies and everything about it about movies aliens and it looks real yeah it's like I don't know what I believe in that sense but like there definitely has to be there's definitely something like something cause, like, but on the spooky boogie doogie scale I give it a with both of believing and how scary it is and putting these together right 
Actually, how scared I. So we're basically talking about what I think. Right, so how, how, how scary do you think it is? I think it's not really scary because I want to meet an alien. I don't want to call it Paul just for the fact of like Paul. The movie Paul. Yeah, just for the fact of the. That movie was on Netflix again. Is it? Yeah, I it's, it's trending it. trend on Netflix actually. That's why I, I know it's so good. It. Like, yeah, it's good. Uh, so uh, I'd, I'd, I'd put it pretty high in the scary scale, man. Good man, aliens are fucked. Like, guess because you don't know what that is. Like, you don't know what's going on in there. It could be anything. That's true. Like, but it could be literally just like a little mealworm that's like came from like a different planet. Or it could be like cool. alien from Alien vs Predator. You don't fucking know, man. <laughs> just like you're gonna know me up, like. Anyways, I I give it like a nine on like the scary scale. I'd give it, yeah no I give it like what did I say again? Did I even read it yet? Did no. I? I give it like a. I'm gonna go with a solid six point five six point five two seven. I think it's like six six point three quarters. Yeah. And then we're both we're both in <laughs> agreement. We're both in the agreement. There is shit in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jimmy. So we've talked about a lot of conspiracy theories. We have. But now we're getting into the real meat and potatoes. Probably what? Meat and potatoes. Probably <laughs> meat and taters. I still got that downstairs. Wait, my dinner's still downstairs. I haven't ate today. All I had was like two fruit winders. You are a child. But, right, actually, I do want to talk about this first. Hmm. I love fruit winders. Comment below if you love fruit winders. I know Carl Hammond more. <laughs> we love you. We actually love you so much. We love you so much. Um, <laughs> anyway, to get back on to it, uh, so the real meat and potatoes yeah. of this podcast, and what probably got you inspired to talk about theory, conspiracy theories, if I'm, if I'm not correct. Was this, yeah, was this was um, exact subject? The it's... Netflix documentary that's recently been released, The Cecil Hotel. Yeah. And now, we're not going to spoil it for anything. If you want to watch The Cecil Hotel, I'll put a timestamp on yeah. screen now. Skip to that time. Even though I haven't finished it, I will say finish it yourselves. Like it's it's a good watch. I just wasn't interested yeah. in the documentary. I was interested in the story. I just didn't really re- recommend it oh, or read it. The front screen's like Oh dear. There we go. But anyways, if you want to go watch uh time stamps here below so we don't spoil it for you. Do you know what we'll do? Just just so you know what that actually looks like on Netflix, we're gonna put a wee um picture of the Netflix mm. show on this. Um so yeah, so that, that's what it looks like there. Yeah, um, so. so for to set the mood for this, con- it's it's not even a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy, but it's not. It's, it's more just, a mystery. But it's more a mystery, but it loops in. It yeah. loops in. So we're gonna go. Set the mood. You can't even really tell, but if you can tell, I turned it to red. I'll show you again. Look, blue, red. Yeah, you can't really tell that much because we have spotlight on us, but you yeah. can you can still sort of. What have we got? Watch ready, ready, ready. Watch quickly. I'm gonna put it on the thing. Ready. Party! Woo! Right, okay, right, right. Yeah, you can't really tell. You can barely right, tell. Right, but one. you see the desk, right? So. Yeah. Anyway, so the Cecil Hotel. Can I. Don't make explain what were you going to say there? So. No, I was just going to lie. I was going to say. I don't even know what I was going to say there. <laughs> in fact, you've watched the full thing, so I'll yeah. let you. So, pretty much the timestamps the time uh, on the bottom of the screen there. Um, so, if you don't. If you are triggered by spoilers and stuff and you do want to watch it, just go to the point where it skips after this bit. Um. So, so yeah. So the basically the Cecil Hotel mystery entails of a girl called Elisa Lamb, and she. So, she stayed at the Cecil Hotel for quite a while. I think it was twenty thirteen. She went missing in twenty thirteen, and. There's there's an elevator video. She was she was there all the time. In in the Netflix series, you hear about her. Um, she done a lot of what was I don't know if it was Tumblr or if it was MySpace. She's very prolific on the, the social media platform yeah, Tumblr. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, and she used to write about her days and all. And she was staying at the Cecil Hotel, and uh, and basically, there's this footage, and I would say a majority of the people watching this, and the majority, the globally, it went viral, and it's of her in the elevator, and she's hitting the buttons. In a sequence down the middle of... It's like... So you get... There's three strips of buttons on an elevator usually. She's hitting... And this is a big hotel. This has like hundreds of rooms. Se- I think it's 700 rooms in total. Yeah. It is a... Mahusuf. It is a Mahusuf hotel. hotel. yeah. And she's hitting a sequence of buttons. And... It's a bit weird. It is weird. She like walks in. She's like peeking down. She's doing that. And then she goes up to the corner of the elevator and she looks and she looks like peeks like out, uh, just the corner of her eye and then she goes out to the elevator and she looks both ways. 
And at this point, you're watching it and you're like, what is going on? And then she starts going like this here. And this is the bit that freaked me out. This really is freaky. She starts looking out the thing, going like that air. And like, like as if she's like doing a seance or something. And people said that you could see another shoe at the left hand side of the elevator door. Because it was faced the opposite direction and moved. So she wasn't alone that entire time. Yeah, I don't believe it. I think there was someone there. Anyways. So... She basically does looks like does the hand move, the hand gestures and stuff, and then she she eventually leaves the elevator, right? Yeah. And there's one thing I do want to mention is you see the timestamp on the video. You can see that it's very hard to um, recognize it, and it's very hard to tell what time in the video this is at. I think they actually, I think the LAPD, they did blur it and they they made it look funky, so it's like you can't tell what time it is. But there's apparently there's a conspiracy that they've took time out of the clip mm. and that they've basically made it look like she looks mental, but she they didn't do that. They didn't do that. And anyway, so this this happens and over this certain amount of I'd say how long was it? About twenty days, I think it was or something like that. It's been a while since I've watched it. Yeah, it was it went on for a, a long time. Um, quite a while, yeah, about ten days or so. And she went missing. So she's missing. She stayed in a hotel. She never left the hotel. They checked the cameras to see at the front doors. She went and she met someone yeah, at like, the front doors, but it was someone from a library and they had books in the box for her because yeah. she was a big heavy. She was a heavy reader. She liked reading and stuff. Yeah, she was like she was a student. Like she never there was never a time she didn't have yeah, a book yeah. in her hand. Now, one thing I've got to say about this girl is she was bipolar, and she was decreasing the amount of medication medication she was taking. Yeah, she was on multiple pills for different sort of things. Yeah, like mental anxiety, health. Sort of yeah. Bipolar disorder. I think bipolar disorder disorder was the one highlighted the most. Yeah, it can create basically what bipolar disorder can create for those of you who don't know. It can create, I think it's, um, what's the thing called whenever you uh, hear voices in your head? It's like schizophrenia. You schizophrenia. It can, it can have like slight schizophrenia. It can basically make like it's, it's it. I think she had ADHD too and stuff. Mm-hmm. So anyway, she took all this medication. She was decreasing the amount while she was away because she was obviously away from her parents and stuff. She didn't. She yeah, didn't she, have to. She went on. Ho- she went on holiday. Yeah, and it was, was uh, yeah. Gap. And so after everything I've just explained, she she's gone missing. They've checked the door on the cameras. Like they had to sit for like three days checking this, and mm. they she hadn't left the door. She hadn't left anything. And it wasn't like she had run away. She because, like, cause, didn't leave. Cause, she didn't leave. Because, like, they had all the footage. She didn't leave the hotel, but her passport, her medication, her laptop, like, all of her valuables and her things needed to leave. Yeah, Like, yeah, her yeah. money, that was all still in the room. It was still there. And, like, they said that the the hotel room, which was, it was messy, but it didn't look like there was a break-in or there was any form yeah, yeah, of yeah. struggle. It just looked like a woman's room, like a, like a room that she stayed in. And so I'm going to go to the end of the story. And I'm going to explain the parts in between that after I go to the end, right? Yeah. So, final warning. If you don't want to get spoiled, yeah. just see Slow Hotel. The time stamps there. Fucking skip. All right, so explain me what okay. happens to the rest. Cause this is new to me because I haven't, I haven't finished yeah. it. So she was found. So in hotels, first of all, on the rooftops usually, I don't know where they store them in places like over here or stuff, but they had four different separate water tanks. Mm-hmm. Now, the lower the floor... I think the worst the water was because there was these people who went to the Cecil Hotel and they're in the documentary and basically they fu- they they were staying there for a couple of nights and they realised that the water was brown and it tasted funny. Yeah, because bear in mind the Cecil Hotel is a very working class, very cheap hotel. Yeah, it was. It's like there's a lot of rooms. It's, it goes very cheap. It's so like when you come in and everyone sees that it's dirty brown water. They just think, hey, it's because it was cheap. They just, mm. they just, you just kind of accept it. I gotta say one thing though, this hotel was known for holding people such as Richard Ramirez. Mm. Now, if you don't know who Richard Ramirez was, he was a murderer. Another Netflix show called The Night Stalkers about him, and it's really interesting. I say you watch it. I do suggest it. Basically, he murdered like thirteen people in the course of a year, and he like in the hotel he, or just in general, no, all around that. He was staying there for a course of their murders, Jesus. and he done seances. He was a Satan worshiper, um, yeah, and he done seances and rituals in his room, and he prayed to Satan and stuff. And a party is really haunted, and we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah, like the Caesar's Hotel, it's known it, it's because it, because it, it, because it was very cheap. It was known because it was so big as well. It was known for stuff like prostitution, 
Yeah. Uh, like drugs. Satanic uh, rituals. Rituals all like murder, that sort of thing. So like it's a hotel that's known to have a bad name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even like when you Google this hotel, ratings don't come up. The hangs are, ratings are hidden. It's just very cheap. Yeah. So that's why, that's why people, normal people still go to it for a holiday. And that's probably why she has because, you know, being a student, not a lot of money. Yeah, Saw exactly. a cheap hotel in Los Angeles. So fuck it. I think it was fairly expensive, but I think there also was discounts you can get in deals you could get yeah. as well. Yeah, because I mean, it is... Los Angeles. I think it would have been say about let's say roughly about hundred fifty dollars maybe for th- a week. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe of course of three days. Yeah, but like but that's cheap. I mean, that like, is cheap. Los Angeles is still expensive as it is, like just for mm-hmm. like tourists and everything. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So like I think it is. It, it's attractive for people you're looking to spend less. Yeah. Because like you're only gonna really sleep and wash in your hotel. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do if the water's clean. But anyway, so. The water was dirty, and these people who were staying there said they were actually on NBC News, and they basically said the water tasted funny, and it was brown, it was a dark colour, so they moved them up higher on the Cecil Hotel, they moved them to a higher room, the water's better. So, how Elisa Lam was found? She was found, the reason why the water was brown, as you can probably take a guess, she was in one of the water tanks. She was found by the janitor, or caretaker of the hotel Mm -hmm. in the water tank so there's four water tanks on top of the hotel she was in the it was the far back right one so there's four so one two three four she was in this back right one so the janitor goes he lifts the lid up and sees her but the conspiracy is how did she she it was a suicide because she had to close that lid apparently the lid was never shut Apparently it was all, and it's all down to like, apparently it's just like, a, all accidental. Apparently. Then how do you accidentally put yourself in a water tank? Exactly. So there's either, there's things that it could be a murder, there's things that it could be supernatural. So, now. I thought you were going to say like a, like a episode, like she's had an episode. Well. Her being, with her being off her pills or something like that. Like, no, I'm going to get to that. I will get to that, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, Murder. That was debunked. It was not a murder, at least for what we know. From when the dog, it was yeah. debunked. It was all really suspic- suspicious and stuff, but it's debunked. I, I don't think it was. I think, I think it was because it was in the seats of the hotel. People presumed it was a murder because of how of much of a shady reputation it has. Yeah. But it, that obviously is the most. It's the least likely outcome. Because there was murders there previously as well. I think that's. Yeah, it's, it's known for being dodgy. If it was in, if it was in another hotel, you wouldn't have thought it was a murder. Yeah, straight away. Pretty much. And anyway, so. It wasn't a murder. I, I'm pretty sure that was debunked. Um, now, the supernatural side of things, um, whenever I go back to the, the elevator video, so I'm going to go back talking to the elevator video, there will be a picture up of the elevator video here, like a screenshot of it. Mm. Um, she moves her hands like that, and a lot of the conspiracies about it was, was she doing a weird ritual thing, or was she speaking to the supernatural? Um, because a lot of drugs were taken at this hotel, so people think, was she on drugs and was she seeing stuff that no one can see yeah. and stuff like that? And that's wasn't true either. No, they don't find well, anything in well, the system, or well, they didn't find it. The only thing they found was her bipolar medication. But what they found was that it was decreased in the amount. So what I'm so what the final subject it goes to is because she was decreasing her medication, the, her her bipolar disorder took over her she's had a panic attack or she's had an episode she's had an episode yeah she's had an episode and she's went and she's she's went up and i think she's been because also it could cause schizophrenia Mm. so what they assumed is that it basically told her go in the tank hide in the tank and she just died but no one still knows to this day no one still it's been put down as accidental or like unknown it's been put out as something i forget yeah, it's, it's, it's still it's so creepy there's, so there's not creepy. a concrete answer to this day yeah and that's the part that really messes with my head because like something had to make her do it something had to it could have uh, it's it's a really good fair point that it is her bipolar disorder because it causes schizophrenia and it causes some something could arise of this again because remember this case was in 2013 yeah. And this is only getting released now, about mm-hmm. seven or eight years later. Yeah. So with, just... with so many eyes on it, something could arise from it or some new information. I'm pretty sure the ritual, that had actually come out after the documentary. That wasn't known at the time. What ritual? You know, like the ritual where she's in the elevator. Mm-hmm. So that's actually, that's that, actually that's a Korean a, game. That's a rumour that has come out after the documentary has come out. So we could find out something from new information. It might 
it might spark interest yeah. in the case again. They might pick up again because the case was dropped. But it's but, but do you know what that's called? That's called the, the elevator game. And basically that's actually a Korean game. And this is the creepier part. <laughs> she was like Korean. Or she was. She was Canadian. No, she was Canadian. She was of Asian ethnicity. Yeah, her na- ethnicity. Her na- ethnicity was Korean. The scary part. It was basically, her, her parents were Man, uh, Korean or something. The scary part was, she, she was Chinese. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. No, but I meant it as in like, it's, never, it's creepy the fact that it is a Korean game and she was obviously a descendant from Korean parents. I never took you for a racist, Scott. <laughs> the more you know. Basically, uh, so yeah, basically, th- that's what really misses me as well. It's just, there's a bunch of stuff in it that really like, it, it hasn't been debunked, so we can go a big, eh, eh, wasn't debunked. It just wasn't, it still isn't debunked. Like, I, I do believe, I think it could be due, I, it's a very high chance it could be due with bipolar disorder. I think mm. after watching the documentary, you learn so much about it and you really do understand people with bipolar and schizophrenia and you, you learn all these things. I'm just wondering why there wasn't any security footage, like, on the roof, because, like, you think... You think they would have, because there was, there was access from, like, the windows in the rooms. There was, like, little... Like fire escape, you fire escape windows, ladders, yeah. yeah, and you could get up to the roof. So why don't they have? I mean, they're te- it's intended to go down, but you can go up to the roof that way. Technically, though, it's technically classed as a technically a cheap. I think it was classed as a really cheap hotel. I don't know. It, it was expensive, but it was cheap. Well, exp- expensive. It was rugged inside, but it was expensive to go to. No, like in in like the grounds, like in Los Angeles, for hotels, it's cheap. But in hotels in general. It, like compared to like really cheap ones around like yeah. here, like like it's expensive, but like compared to like the area it's in in Los Angeles, it's quite cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and because obviously Los Angeles, like they've got taxes and on top of so whenever you buy something or go to somewhere, that's just, that's just America in general. Yeah, well, America it's, in general, there's like obviously because, you like, buy something, there's tax on top of it, so it obviously doubles the price. Because it's because LA is like. It's like Hollywood and everything. It's a tourist attraction. Mm-hmm. Wherever the like, they're obviously hotel prices are going to go up if there's a lot of tourists. Yeah. So yeah, basically, so wait, she, we we don't know what's no one knows. There is no concrete or concrete, concrete. concrete. There's concrete no concrete evidence. evidence to one conclusion or another. So at yeah. the minute, it is just up in the air. So it's however however you want to interpret it. Uh, let us know what you think it happened. Whether it wasn't a murder uh, episode or if she or. I dev- and I definitely also if you haven't what you can do is this obviously we'll put this up on the Monday that comes up it comes out every Monday um, <coughs> pardon me uh, so basically if you're watching this pause the video go watch a couple of episodes maybe or even finish this podcast it's, it's four hours in length you could binge watch it at night yeah yeah Maybe keep a light on. Like, there are parts that are just... Uh, they yeah, are you, you were telling me you had to watch it with the man, lights on. Th- th- no, I was fine for a while. Then so that bit will that creep me out, man. It's just the way it looks and the way they're describing it. Mm. It just messed with my brain. And I was like, I have to turn on the light on. That is, I don't get scared by ghosts and I do not get st- scared by supernatural stuff and stuff. But that... Per- it's just because it's so real. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I guess a real thing that happened. Yeah, like, it was creepy. Like, like stuff like that was scary more than like horror movies. Oh, because that's that's real like that's a real thing that happened rather than like something like The Conjuring doesn't scare me Do you or like, Insidious life? because it's just kind of boring but like stuff like that would freak yeah. me because like that's real that like that do happened you know what, do you know what film I loved what? that you showed me Creep 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 no that is real Creep's a real film it's real <laughs> I made this your last time. Yeah, you, <laughs> mean, you did. Said make, it again. You did make us do. Anyway, so here's a thing of creep. Creep. The title. So if you haven't go watch creep, it's on. If you have Prime Video, Prime, Prime yeah. Video and stuff, uh, you can get it on there. It's like f- like two pounder rent. I I rented it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I did. I, I did. It deserved the two pound rental. It yeah. really did. I mean, for only two quid, man. Like, or like three, it's two or three quid. Is it, that's, two, that's less than a pint. Yeah, it's like three fifty or something. Oh, it's cheap. It's really cheap. Like it doesn't take anything out your wages or your bank. So like, go yeah, watch. I mean, it takes two quid out your bank, but. I it doesn't take anything out your like. It doesn't really. Take, it's taking nothing out. It's taking nothing out. Like it's literally like three pound. Like that's basically. I think we've. I think we've covered everything. Yeah, but we've actually run through an entire episode. We're actually gonna do an outro this time. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. Well, fun fact: any time we filmed an outro, we've either been way too drunk to actually make a coherent outro. Or the audio has been fucked, so we haven't been able to actually do Sorry, it. Sorry, I'm snap. <laughs> I just realised I'm Snapchatting someone. Man, for fuck. Uh... Sorry, my man. 
I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Your fucking interests are. No, I'm just saying. Like, I just, I did forgot. Is it, you, you actually do get that comfortable around the camera. Yeah, you, you, just, you just kind of forget. You just kind of forget it's there. You do forget it's there, even though you're looking at it, but you still like it's just normal. It's, normal. it's just, it's just kind of like a yeah, a, like it feels like a person there. Pretty much, yeah. You're just speaking to people. Hey guys, welcome to my new please, vlog. Please, I'm, ha- I'm doing happy Mac that, I'm, makeup. <laughs> I'm happy at least that's the vibe you get from this. Swatch. Let me swatch it. No, no. <laughs> right, anyway, well. That's been our episode, uh, episode five on conspiracy theories. Uh, yeah. Let us know if you think we were bang on or yeah, terrible. Watch the Cecil Hotel thing. Watch the Night Stalker, Night Stalker, and watch Creep. Creep. Three, that's your homework. <laughs> <laughs> that's your homework for the next time. Um, but um, no, just that was that was episode. Uh, Scott, do you have anything to plug or? I do. Everyone know. So uh, I've got another song out on the eighth of March, um, which will be not this Monday that this one's out but then the following Monday so I'll probably plug it again in the next one you know what I mean anyway so uh, yeah it's called it's called Take You Home and it's basically a fictional love song or if people can relate to it it's not even fictional man it's not even because it is it's true in my mm. like, eyes but it's like for other people it could be like it didn't happen to them so it's technically fictional you know what I mean yeah but so people it's can't a, it's, so, a, it's a love song yeah it's, yeah it's a love song P- people will relate people will I think I don't if, people, if you relate to it you relate to it if you don't you don't but like it's a good uh, it's a good catchy song I think it's really good I'm actually really proud of it mm. I'm proud of it I like it it's catchy and it's good and it just sounds well, magnificent but, so just you know check out it's, it's got Spotify and give it a are we follow you can uh, actually follow it you know, uh, you know maybe you give a little follow. Yeah, maybe. Give yeah. it a wee listen. Ah, we give listen. maybe a little listen, you know. Yeah. That was, that was, that was maybe. That. I'm proud of that one. That was, that was, that that was, was a nice little one. That, that, was, that, was, that shows that he listens. Thank fuck, otherwise you'd be killed by now. <laughs> that <laughs> no, was such an insult. You'll, you'll be killed if by now. If you do not listen to my music, you'll be <laughs> dead in the next half hour. Jeez, that's, that sounds like a creepypasta thing. Like, if you don't share this, like, if you don't share this post with five friends in the next ten minutes, this guy's gonna come to your window at three in the morning. Slender man. If you don't forward this email, Slender man's gonna come and slap you on the ass. Pretty much. <laughs> so, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Anyway, uh, um, I, was, I don't really have anything to plug. Just watch this. Yeah. Check watch out, other ones. Get the views back up. Check, check out, check <laughs> out other stuff on YouTube. Check out my sketches. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for yeah. watching, and if you want, like the video so it gets up there. That, that I do feel like a tip for saying that. Yeah. But like, do, but just give it a wee like because it does. It does help if if a lot of people I like just, it. It does get on the. Is it recommend recommendation? Trending page? or recommend or something like that. But it's like you have to get a lot. It gets recommended more people, and just you know, give it yeah. a wee, give it a wee share. Especially especially in the area too. I think it does correlate with the area, yeah. so like it will come up on people's pages. So if you can give it a like and hit the subscribe button. Oh, gagging when we said that. I hate saying like that makes you feel like like a YouTuber. You're like, like and subscribe, hit yeah, that notification bell. It is what it is. Just do it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't take any time of your day. Uh, if you anyone who will, I will get down on one on one or both knees, <laughs> and give you a Chris five five. Give me a high five. Just stop doing that, man. That's like twice now you've done that. Okay, uh, I'll see you boys later. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you boys later. Fucking cheers, boys. See you later. Uh. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs>